Hi everyone, in this video I will explain you a very lucrative career for specifically suitable for science graduates. When I talk about science graduates, I mean to say people who have done their graduation in botany, zoology, chemistry or biochemistry, biotechnology, microbiology or uh, B pharmacy candidates, D pharmacy also, M pharmacy candidates are also eligible. Same way BSc nursing students or BSc MLT and I mean to say anybody who has done their graduation in science streams science subjects they are eligible for this kind of career what is this career the career is called medical coding yes you heard me right medical coding is a very high salary paying or very uh, very lucrative career you know lot of people have this question science graduates can they get job in multinational companies if you choose medical coding then yes you might get job in multinational companies like wipro cognizant and many more these multinational companies also takes projects on medical coding services you know in america us the the healthcare industry or the medical industry is a very big industry it has lot of money in that industry and the things in that uh, industry i mean to say american medical industry or healthcare industry there is lot of things uh, that has to be sorted out so that is when there is lot of challenges in that industry that is when uh, those uh, projects are outsourced to Indian companies and Wipro, Cognizant, these kind of companies takes those projects and make sure that projects are getting done from India itself. That is why medical coding profession is also in demand in today's world. Now, in medical coding, what exactly happens? Understand what what uh, when what happens? How the business runs in? Uh, hospitals or clinics or uh, uh, small doc doctor's clinics kind of thing. A patient comes to a hospital with some symptoms, some uh, illness or some disease or some health, health issues, right? Now, when patient comes to a hospital, they come with symptoms. They meet the doctor, they explain the symptoms, doctors investigate or diagnose diagnose uh, with some procedures right like blood testing or some some kind of diagnostic procedures doctor prescribes after the reports come doctor checks the report and starts hit his treatment doctor gives the medicine or the treatment start so what happens to so symptom procedure treatment all these things if we start writing big stories or like um, uh, if we start recording all this information that might take lot of time and that might also take lot of space to avoid that such kind of things hospitals or the medical industry what they did is they started writing small alphanumeric code for each and every symptom there is a code for each and every procedural and i mean to say diagnostic process there is a code for every treatment there is a code so with the help of alphanumeric code the whole pro patient story or the whole patient record is saved in the form of small alphanumeric code this is what happens in medical coding who does that Individuals who are trained in medical coding, they write these kind of alphanumeric codes. Why, why businesses or why hospitals invest in medical coders or medical, medical coding kind of services? Because it is a plus point for them, right? Hospitals. When the patient goes, the patient, the hospital bills the patient. They have to pay for the services, right? Patients. Now, hospital bill the patients. Most of the time, patients will have insurance, right? So, when uh, the, the service or the patient treatment is done, the hospital sends the bill to their insurance company, patient's insurance company. Sending all the record to the insurance companies is a hectic process. That is the reason sending small alphanumeric code about a patient that will that is much easier for a hospital, hospital or uh, any doctor's clinic. That is the reason hospitals happily they invest in medical coders or medical coding kind of services. Even insurance companies also prefer this medical coding. Why? Because it is good for them also, right? They are saving lot of time, lot of confusion is clarified and the billing has uh, becomes very easy and many much many things I mean to say less time is taken and um, things will be easier then that is the reason even the patients the hospital the insurance companies also prefer medical coding not only this but medical coders they also help in data analysis and research 
by their medical codes so that is why i as i said hospitals and insurance companies also prefer medical coders now you might be thinking why this medical coding profession is suitable to science graduates only not for non non science graduates i would say it is suitable for everyone but science graduates are given first preference reason in medical coding this profession or this career there will be lot of terminologies that are used for example uh, So, something some uh, human anatomy related some terminology a science graduates can understand the terminology easier than a non science graduate for example btech mechanical or btech civil candidates right so that is the reason for this profession science graduates who are very familiar with the terminologies those candidates are given first preference i won't say btech uh, mechanical or btech civil candidates or non science graduates do not get an opportunity to become a medical coder they also get an opportunity because when they when these people as a fresher join a company they are selected in interview they join a company the company gives them very good training one month or two months training vigorous training will be given to them why because they have to write that alpha numeric codes right uh, regarding the patient uh, uh, process or symptoms or treatment and all those stuff so very good training will be given from the company itself in that training only non science graduates will understand each and every aspects of medical coding career yes and in the training itself the companies will also train you about the medical coding systems there are two very popular medical coding systems one is international classification of diseases that is in short called as icd there is another medical coding system that is called current procedural terminology in short it is called as cpt so whichever company if you are joining as a medical coder the company will also train you on icd and cpt medical coding systems also so that is what happens in training now to become a medical coder what kind of skills are required i would say the background first preference is given to uh, science graduates second thing is the graduate should be aware of human termino terminologies terminology understanding is also one kind of skills and the next one is the the candidates must have some good knowledge about the medical coding systems icd and cpt they should have some good knowledge apart from that candidate should be very good in analytical skills problem solving skills plus communication skills also communication skills why because candidates who are getting selected as a medical coder they will be communicating with their team members also right their team members their managers and etc so that is the reason communication skills is also one very important skills required to become a medical coder now after medical coding what kind of uh, where can you do med this medical coding training and how long the trainings will be usually it depends from training institute to training institute few training institute takes 2 months to complete or train you on medical training medical coding few training institutes take 1 month for teaching you medical coding few training institutes also takes 4 months to teach you medical coding so depends from training institute to training institute the duration of medical coding may vary but at the end of the thing you will be learning about the medical medical coding systems you will be learning about hipaa you will be learning about many more things after the training period is it suggested to do the certifications i would say yes definitely you should do the certifications also because these certifications will add value to your resume if your resume has that this candidate has done done this certification this certification this certification hrs will definitely give you first preference you your profile will stand out from the crowd now what kind of certifications are good to become a medical coder the first certification that i will recommend is certified professional coder in short that is called as cpc the second type of certification i would suggest is certified coding specialist ccs the third type of certification i recommend is certified inpatient coder same like that certified outpatient coder this is also a certification certified professional medical auditor cpma 
and the last one i recommend is certified documentation improvement practitioner in short it is called as cdip so these are few certification that i am recommending you uh, i am not saying that do all the five or six certification do at least one or two that will be enough to add weightage to your resume now after this lot of people might also have this question madam i cannot travel to the training institute is there any online facility or is there any free sources where i can learn about this medical coding my answer is definitely yes there are many online platforms also where you can learn medical coding for absolutely free what are these resources write it down first resource where you can learn for free medical coding is cms cms icd 10 online training second one is aa pc free webinars and resources third one is is ahima ahima resources fourth one is course era fifth one is edx and the last one is our favorite youtube yes in youtube also there are many youtube channels there are many videos which gives you very good information on medical coding so you should definitely check those youtube channels and uh, free content on youtube and google as well now there might be a question if you are a student i mean to say you are doing your graduation second year or third year and you want to get into medical coding profession then how can you start pre preparing for this profession in your second year or third year of college only start understanding the human anatomy and start understanding the terminologies related to human anatomy also and not only these but start uh, listening to different podcast or videos on youtube check many plenty of journals on uh, google understand about how this medical coding industry works what are the very different situations this uh, industry has gotten till now how the data is analyzed in the medical coding and what kind of new researches are happening in medical coding industry research all these things from your second year or third year only i'm i'm recommending this to students all this information will definitely help you to crack that interview process interview rounds right this is about students then what about career gap candidates yes career gap candidates i mean to say people who have 3 years or more than 5 years of career gap you can also get into medical coding profession might be uh, getting a job in a bigger organization like wipro cognizant accenture these kind of companies might be difficult for a career gap candidate but there is always an ex exception the exception is you can start you can start working as a medical coder from a smaller organization not a multinational big organization but small company start your career after one or two years of genuine experience with that genuine experience knowledge and uh, experience uh, thing then you can target the bigger organization this is what i suggest for career gap candidates now lot of people may ask this question madam will there be any internship opportunities for students in medical coding i would say no there is negligible chances of internship opportunities for medical coding profession why understand medical coders works with the confidential information of patients right patient have this symptom patient patient has that infection or that this disease all this information is a very confidential information we can also term them as sensitive information right to access this confidential information or this sensitive information of patients the medical coder has to go through very rigorous training and few exams certification exams also only after the certifications only the candidate will be given the confidential information to start working on a student only for 2 or 3 months they want to do internship means that is not possible why because the the company will train you ex train you training vigorous training will be done and then certification exams in the, this whole process only 3 months will go so that is the reason and uh, yes company will not give the confidential information directly to a non uh, uh, to a student just like that they will not give that information share that information right that is the reason uh, uh, internship might be less op option for uh, a student but yes plan for a permanent job in a good uh, multinational company now very important question what about the salary part in india 
I would say for in in Hyderabad the city because I belong to Hyderabad. I will take the my city as an example. In Hyderabad, uh, a medical coder fresher may get salary between two point five lakhs to four lakhs per annum. A fresher candidate. What about an experienced candidate? An experienced candidate who has two years or uh, six years experience. Two to six years experience candidates might get salary between four point five lakhs to eight lakhs. So this is how the salary you can expect in Hyderabad kind of metro city. Now uh, Hyderabad has a different uh, salary structure, but when you go to Mumbai or when you go to Bangalore kind of cities. Yes, your salaries will be much higher because salaries also differs from city to city. So that is what about uh, medical coding I have explained you. I will definitely recommend all the graduates who have done their graduation in a uh, science stream. They should definitely opt or think twice about. They should think about consider about medical coding. It is also a very good uh, career or very good profession. Lot of people have this question. It has coding. So will will we write code or will we uh, program anything? Java programming, .NET programming, something like that. I would say no. It it does not require you to program anything or code anything. the The coding word in medical coding profession is writing alpha numeric codes that will be trained to you by the company or organization. So it is a very good career, very lucrative career, good salary giving career. And people who want, who are from science background but want to work in a multinational companies, they can definitely think about medical coding. So that was all about medical coding. I have explained you. If you have any questions, please put your questions in the comment section of this video. And all to all the science graduates, I request you share this video with your classmates in your WhatsApp group, WhatsApp group, Telegram group, and your Instagram or any other social media. Also, try to share this video. Definitely, this video will help some or the other person to. To uh, to clarify their questions and uh, help them choose medical coding as their profession. So yes, if you're watching this video for the first time, my name is Sushmita Madhu and this is my English channel. Please subscribe and do not forget to click the bell icon. If you like this video, if you like my efforts, what will you do? Please click the like button as well. Thank you so much. All the best and namaste.